Hi there, today I'm interviewing John Coltsworth, Provost of Columbia University. Professor Coltsworth, welcome and thank you for being with us. Thank you, it's a pleasure to be here. You're visiting Ecole Polytechnique to take part to Alliance Executive Committee meeting today. Yes, I am. And this uh, program is a joint venture between Columbia University and three major French institutions, mm -hmm. naming Ecole Polytechnique, Sciences Po, and Panthéon Sorbonne University. Mm -hmm. It was created in 2002. Could you please tell us more about its main achievement mm -hmm. and its perspective for the near mm -hmm. future? This is a program that, uh, as you say, links uh, Columbia University to three major French institutions. Uh, it's been uh, a wonderful success for us. It allows us, in collaboration with our French partners, to innovate programs that would be difficult to do otherwise. Uh, we have created dual degree programs where students can receive degrees both from Colombia and from their home institution in France. Uh, we have created exchanges and collaborations between our faculties. We've sent students to France and they've been very well received. And you've sent us wonderful students to Colombia. So it's a program that allows us to share resources and share people. Uh, and it's been a huge success from our point of view. And according to you, what are the main advantages to partner up with French grands écoles such as Ecole Polytechnique? Well, on the one hand, as you know, uh, we are living in a world that is getting smaller every day. So we tell our students, at some point in your career, you will probably, if you are an American, find yourself living in a foreign country. So you need to have the experience of living uh, abroad, of studying abroad, of understanding other cultures and societies. And so in general, we try to encourage our students to work uh, at least a part of their time, to study for at least a part of their time at Columbia, uh, at institutions in other parts of the world. But in particular, uh, the interest uh, in France among our uh, students is, of course, very high. Initially, it included mostly people in the humanities, those who are studying French culture, literature, and language, uh, but it has now become much more general. And the Ecole Polytechnique is a wonderful relationship which allows us to bring together students at Columbia who are engineers uh, or going into engineering careers or who are in mathematics and physics and other scientific fields uh, to, to combine uh, their interest in their, um, in their programs with uh, the experience of studying abroad and learning from others. And uh, as uh, you mentioned earlier, Alliance fosters faculty mobility, mm -hmm. and uh, Ecole Polytechnique, for example, welcomed Professor Provani last mm -hmm. April and May, mm -hmm. and Professor Bonassieu was teaching at Columbia University at the same time. Mm -hmm. How do you see this um, faculty mobility fostering further research collaboration, especially mm -hmm. on climate change between our institutions? Mm -hmm. Well, on, uh, as you know, uh, the collaboration between the Eco Polytechnique and our School of Engineering uh, goes back many years. Uh, this collaboration between faculty who are working in each other's laboratories is really quite exciting for us and for the faculty who participate. Um, on climate change, uh, as you may know, Columbia created uh, a dozen years ago an Earth Institute to bring together uh, the three to four hundred Earth scientists that are studying aspects of uh, climate change with uh, those uh, disciplines of the social sciences uh, that are concerned with policy making and with the design of good policies. Um, so we are uh, one of the pioneer institutions in the United States in the study of climate change and in developing ways of, of um, mitigating the effects of, of climate change. Um, and the, our ability to collaborate with uh, French institutions, especially in the period before the uh, the great conference that will come next year, the COP21, is, uh, uh, is a great ad advantage for us. Uh, and it's, uh, it's leading to many exciting collaborations between our faculty and faculty at the Ecole Polytechnique. Well, climate change is not the only exciting topic mm -hmm. we're exchanging on. And mm -hmm. we also welcome a um, delegation of students from Columbia Organization of Rising Entrepreneurs mm -hmm. over last spring break. They came to discover and connect with Paris entrepreneurial scene. Mm -hmm. How does your administration support such students' uh, initiatives? Well, we have uh, found that our students are quite entrepreneurial. Uh, as you may know, New York City, where we are located, uh, is the largest center for venture capital uh, and startup companies uh, in the United States. We're far ahead of Silicon Valley. So our students feel something of that atmosphere when they study at Columbia. 
and students across the campus are now participating in entrepreneurship activities. We bring them together, uh, we encourage them, we provide them space and facilities. Uh, we uh, organize what are called pitch competitions, uh, where students come and in five minutes or less they must describe their new their project. Uh, and we bring them together with uh, venture capitalists uh, with, uh, who are alumni or who are just simply interested in Columbia uh, and who sometimes back the companies that our students are starting. So we know that this spirit also exists at the Ecole Polytechnique uh, and we're anxious to learn all we can from, how, from your successes. Well, looking forward to that. About 15 Ingenieur Polytechnician students choose to spend an academic year at Columbia University and about 10 of them their research internship in average each year. On the counterpart, we still welcome very few American students. As part of your globalization strategy, what do you tell your students to encourage their international mobility, and especially about France and Ecole Polytechnique, to encourage them to come study and research with us? Well, as, as you mentioned, it's much easier for us to, to um, encourage our students who are in the cultural studies or history uh, or philosophy uh, to come to France, uh, because those of our students who are in the natural sciences or in engineering have much more rigid uh, requirements for their degrees and they find it often very difficult to, to, to study abroad at the same time, uh, complete all of their requirements. So what we have done is to develop programs that will encourage them to study abroad in any case uh, and especially the partnership with the Ecopolitique is an important part of our strategy. If students from Colombia can uh, spend some time at the Ecole, uh, we're hoping that they'll be able to continue their studies of in the science fields that they are in, but at the same time learn what it is to, to live abroad, to live in France, uh, to speak the French language, and to connect and to work closely with uh, French scientists and, and collaborators. So we do all we can to encourage uh, students to come to France, but uh, one of our major uh, inducements for students to do so is the fact that the Ecole Polytechnique is such an ex excellent institution and a wonderful place to study. Well, many thanks, Professor Coltsworth. <laughs>